would you please all extend a very warm welcome to Paul Johnston, who currently heads up the European Public Sector Team for the Internet Business Solutions Group at Cisco. I'm going to speak very briefly, you'll be glad to know, uh, about the future of business collaboration. Now, businesses have always collaborated, but collaboration is changing. The range and diversity of collaboration opportunities that are open to all of us is on a completely different scale today than it has been in the past. And I think we all recognise that, or else we wouldn't be here today to launch the DLAN project. In the past, innovation used to trickle down from the business world to the wider community. Now what we're seeing quite often is innovation starts in the consumer space and then moves back and changes the way the business operates. Let me, let me talk about one of my Facebook friends. He's a guy called Matthew Fraser. I have met him. I met him once, very briefly. And he's an avid user of Facebook, so I know far more about Matthew's daily life than I do about the daily life of either of my brothers. So actually, Matthew is contributing more to my life personally and professionally than a lot of my traditional colleagues or traditional friends. So what I'm trying to say with that is that's not friendship as we traditionally know it. It's a new kind of friendship, but it's a friendship that can deliver value. Consider the, the idea of partnership. If you ask a business who your partners are, they'll probably tell you about their suppliers and a range of other organisations that they've got legal, relation, legal contracts or other legal relations with. But I think, just as the concept of friendship is changing in the personal sphere, we're going to see the concept of partnership changing quite radically in the business sphere. Think of all those opportunities you come across that you can't actually take up. So it might be uh, opportunities, um, customer opportunities that your firm can't deliver to, or a supplier who you're very impressed by, uh, but you currently don't have a use for their products or services. Imagine if you had a whole host of virtual partners channeling that sort of opportunity to you. Or imagine if you were channeling that, those kind of opportunities to a whole load of other partners. So I think uh, that kind of opportunity is perhaps the sort of thing that the DLAN project um, might explore and uncover. How can you get SMEs networking in that kind of way? Uh, because I certainly think we're going to see big business partnerships on a much more lightweight and agile way than we've seen in the past. So you will get SMEs who've got dozens of partners in dozens of countries. Uh, so I do think one day you'll get SMEs coming up to each other and saying, how many partners have you got in the business book then? So I think we're going to see a real huge expansion in video conferencing. Um, and because of that, I think that even quite small organisations are going to end up with a team spread all across the world. I mean, once video makes interaction that simple and that real, why shouldn't you have a marketing manager in Cardiff, a financial director in Toledo, and a designer based in Ljubljana? I think the future is going to be a lot more collaboration, a lot more people collaborating in different places, but I think that is going to be collaboration where you can see who you're collaborating with, even though it's virtual, and where you can tell whether there is doubt in their eyes or excitement in their eyes. Cloud computing is really starting to think and look at the same thing happening to IT. So instead of all the organisations owning their own servers, owning their own data centres, all of that will be provided from the cloud um, rather than in your actual physical location. So what will that mean? What are the implications of that? Well, it should mean cheaper and more agile IT services, but it also means changing the way we think about IT. It's, whether you're talking about a website or an application, it's no longer a matter of creating something small and beautiful. The key thing is thinking about whatever you're doing, how whatever you're doing fits into the wider context. So though we might see a few new collaboration platforms, mostly it's going to be about collaboration applications that leverage existing platforms. So whether it's a Facebook app, an iPhone app, or a browser-based software as a service, what you've got to think about is 
how does what I do leverage what already exists? If you want to be relevant to the masses, you have to go to where they currently are, rather than thinking that you can create something sufficiently wonderful that they'll all want to come to you. So, uh, congratulations to the partners launching DLAN uh, this evening. I uh, very much look forward to what comes out of this project, and I wish you every success in making your contribution to this great new world of collaboration. Thank you.